So I'm just going to talk about this uh, 580L tractor loader backhoe backhoe controls here and how we get this backhoe linkage into its transport position and back out of transport position. Um, so what's a little bit tricky about this is it's got an over center design. So that cylinder, as you can see, is going to get shorter to raise the backhoe boom up. But then once we get it to go over center, we need the, the cylinder to get longer again to actually bring the oversetter and linkage into the latched position. So you've got to have a little bit of um, courage here because we're going to be sort of fighting instinct. We're going to use this lever. This is our boom raise lever for that cylinder. We're going to raise the boom up and then just as it goes over center, we're actually going to go down quickly to latch it into the transport position. So before we do that, the machine can be doing a lot of rocking and rolling. So I'm going to make sure the stabilizers are down and firmly on the ground. So we're using our two stabilizer controls to lower those down. And, and no, we're not gonna lift the rear tires right off the ground, but we're gonna make sure these are firmly in contact with the ground. We're also making sure our loader bucket here is down on the ground, which I've done in my machine setup. So our loader bucket is flat on the shop floor. Our stabilizer pads are flat on the shop floor, supporting the weight of the machine, although all four tires are still touching. So what I'm going to do is start this up at low idle and just talk about the controls for a second. So raising the boom, I'm going to raise it slowly and just at idle. I'm going to use the uh, next lever over, brings my dipper arm in, my stick. So I'm bringing the stick all the way in. So I've got less of a, uh, a mass beyond the center of gravity of the linkage and then if I bring this up to the top you'll see what happens is you get a bit of a wagging motion I'm just holding the lever there you can see the booms wagging what you need to do is anticipate that wag and right now I'm not in the lock position I've got to bring it up and once I get that wag started I've got to go the opposite way in the lever so watch carefully I'll see if it'll do it at a low idle sometimes we have to bring the engine RPM up, RPM up a little bit Took me two tries, but once it wagged over center, again, it's generally a little easier to do with the engine just off of idle, but I've got it in the transport lock position. So the lock lever has latched. If I want to unlatch it, I've got to uh, take some pressure off of, the, off of the lock arm and then lower the boom down. Again, you're going to get a bit of a wag here i got to pull it towards me counterintuitively and it falls down. Once it's over center, then away from me is down. So you get a portion of the movement of the implement where up is up, but then down becomes up. So again, putting it back in the transport position, I'll see if it'll do it at idle again. me three times that time. Again, you can do it usually once if you're doing it just over idle. But you got to kind of anticipate that wag, bring it up, and then go away from you to bring it back over center. So again, unlocking it, I'm going to take the, the pull it towards me a little bit to take the force off of the uh, lock linkage. Lift it with the uh, pedal over there and then bring it towards me to lower the, again, counterintuitively, I, I brought the linkage towards me to get the boom to fall down. Again, you get that bouncing, a little bit unnerving if you're not expecting it, but once, once you're aware of it, then when you start lowering it, it becomes positively uh, connected again. So lowering this to the ground, we're gonna extend the dipper all the way out, Lower the boom down gently. Again, dipper all the way out. So the dipper cylinder is fully retracted. And then set the bucket and boom on the ground. And then because this is mechanical linkage to the actual DCV spools, 
to put this machine in zero energy state, all we need to do is cycle the controls and we can feel and hear the implement relaxing there. So we'll take all of our controls. We've got pilot lock valves on the uh, stabilizer circuit, so they're not going to, uh, to go anywhere. And we'll do the same for our loader. Cycle the control through the lift to tilt range of motions. Go right forward to float and then back and forth on that axis of movement. And that ensures that we've got no stored energy. Oh, after you do the loader, you want to come back to the backhoe again. I felt that linkage move. Let me try that a couple of times here. So in all the controls, now we're in a zero energy state. If we need to remove some hoses, we are pretty sure we're not going to get oil coming out under pressure.